So the cooler is on, the light is illuminated, um, we're welding over there. Um, the pedal has been released, the post flow timer is running and the cooler is running for the duration of this post flow, so there's about 19 seconds left. Um, the pedal is no longer depressed, of course. Alright, so the argon stops flowing and the Coolmate stops. I'm standing here next to my uh, really tall uh, welding cart. At the bottom is my TIG welder, uh, Miller Synchrowave 210. Uh, and um, uh, I am uh, planning to address an issue today uh, with uh, this welder. Uh, it's a good machine, it welds really well, but the uh, issue that it has is that uh, it doesn't have a plug uh, for the water cooler. So this is uh, uh, Miller uh, Coolmate 1.3. It's um, a the smallest water cooler that's uh, appropriately sized for this machine and for the projects uh, that I do with this machine. Uh, but uh, Coolmate uh, 1.3 is uh, quite noisy. Um, this cooler is very noisy. Um, noisy. Uh, and uh, when it's ran continuously, um, during uh, non-welding operations like setups, uh, it makes um, unnecessary noise and of course it uses uh, electricity unnecessarily. So I'm planning to uh, add a um, uh, switch that will automatically turn my Coolmate on and off. I've looked at uh, two uh, sources um, that I can use, um, two circuits that I could tap into potentially. Uh, one is a 15 volt uh, control circuit in the foot pedal. Um, they, it's not easy to find a 15 volt relay and of course it's only on and off uh, when you are um, uh, operating the, the foot pedal. Uh, the other one is a uh, 25 uh, DC volt DC circuit inside a Synchrowave 210 that operates the ga gas solenoid. And so when I TIG weld with Synchrowave 210 I often have it set to its automatic post flow feature where the argon continues to flow uh, for some length of time that machine determines uh, based on the amperage which was used uh, during the previous welding operation. So it's a, it's a clever feature. If you were welding really hot, you're going to get a relatively long uh, post flow of gas to shield um, the work until it cools down. And so if I use that circuit uh, to operate the Coolmate 1.3, uh, during the post flow, while I'm still holding the, the torch in my hand, the water coolant will uh, keep flowing uh, and it will keep flowing uh, for the length of time that the machine will determine to be appropriate. This is the door of the storage compartment where the pedal and the leads are stored. There we go. So here is the gas solenoid uh, for my project. Pretty convenient in this uh, location all by itself. Uh, uh, 26 volts DC. So it's 0.37, so 370 milliamps. This is the plug that I bought on Amazon. Actually, this is the plug, that's the jack. Um, so they come as a mating pair. Um, it's made by a company called CN Linko.
So that's a nice termination for the remote control cable. The other end of it will be in the box where the relay will be turning on and off the 110 to the um, uh, to the Coolmate 1.3. Um, this relay is uh, rated for 400 volts and 12 amps, so switching 115 and uh, less than 6 amps um, that the cool, Coolmate 1.3 draws, um, uh, actually draws 5.9, so uh, plenty of capacity in this switch to operate that um, device. I looked all over this shop and I don't have a proper electrical box, but I do have this um, Okay, here is the Synchrowave 210 uh, with the plug for the remote control installed. Um, this is the lid of the storage compartment which I'm opening up. This is the holder for the foot pedal. And below here is this smaller compartment uh, on the left side of the machine. It's the left side if you're viewing the machine from the front. Uh, the gas solenoid is right back here. And in front of it, at the same height as the gas solenoid, I have the jack for the remote control cord uh, wired in parallel with uh, the gas solenoid. So this is the remote control box as it's currently uh, wired up. Uh, this is the remote control wire that runs down uh, to its uh, plug that I've already shown on the back of the Synchrowave 210. So the remote control wire goes into the box. Uh, the relay that I showed earlier uh, is inside this box. Okay, here is the test. Uh, I'm holding the foot pedal uh, in my hands. Um, the machine is in DC TIG. I programmed the post flow for 25 seconds and the post flow count countdown will run uh, down here next to the amp uh, window. And this is the Coolmate uh, operation light, so it will operate. It should uh, operate uh, while I'm welding with the pedal depressed, and then as I let go, it will operate for the same duration as the post flow, obviously, and then it'll stop. So let's see how that works out. So this is my master switch for the cooler system. So in the past, this would just make the cooler run until I turned it off. Now. Um, We'll see if my remote works. So I'm pressing the pedal. So the cooler is on. The light is illuminated. Um, we're welding over there. Um, the pedal has been released. The post flow timer is running and the cooler is running for the duration of this post flow, so there's about 19 seconds left. Oh. All right, so the argon stops flowing and the Coolmate stops. Okay, this is about to be an actual welding test on a scrap aluminum plate. The machine is on, set to 160 amps. The master switch for the cooler is on. The cooler is not running, as evidenced by this light that's not illuminated. Okay, a perfectly ordinary uh, welding bead right here. Um, the machine gave me about uh, 10 seconds of post flow and the cooler ran for those 10 seconds. Uh, so 
the conclusion here is that the um, gas solenoid on sinker wave 210 can operate a um, 24 volt coil relay that can turn on and off your water cooler while you're welding. And the torch is literally room temperature here. Um, so it never warmed up while, while the Coolmate 1.3 was running. So uh, it's a success. Uh, it's going to be a lot quieter here now uh, because the Coolmate is going to be stopping when the Argon post flow um, stops.